So we are looking at the 87 version of Trailblazer Diaz. Four star, four star, five foot 11. You can see you can play left mid, left wing and right wing. Really good acceleration, sprint speed stats, fantastic agility and balance and composure. Good passing, great finishing and shot power, but we have improved it with the chem style we'll talk about it in a minute. In terms of play styles, he's got technical plus, flair, first touch, trickster and quick step. So he's got no scoring play styles, which is a little bit strange to me considering he's in form for scoring. And then play styles, he's got winger plus plus at left wing and wide playmaker and inside forward plus. And then right wing, he's got inside forward. Now, in terms of chem styles, we have gone for a finisher and that is to boost up his finishing, as you can see there, to plus 12. Now, we have a look on footbin. You can see here, gets him up to 93 shooting as well as 94 dribbling. Now, we are playing in a 4-3-3 system with Diaz playing at that right wing, as you can see there on the screen. We are be playing in weekend league as well, or foot champs, depending on how you call it. And we're just going to see how Diaz does for us today. Now, I'm expecting him to get goals, of course. He is coming in quite expensive. We'll talk about chem styles, pricing, and everything else about the card at the end of the review. So if you don't care about gameplay, you can go ahead and skip now. But let's get into the gameplay. So let's have a look at our opponent's team then. Quite strong team, some nice icon and hero selection there. And with Diaz, I normally have the Rafinha Trailblazers on the right wing. Now, I'm playing Diaz on the right wing because I've got Rota to knockout, Doku on the left wing. And I like to have inside shooting, basically. So, you can shoot across goal. Now, you can see here, in terms of formation, as I said, we're playing in a 4-3-3. They do start on opposite sides, which makes no sense. I do think the game's broke. You can see there's Diaz on the ball there. Now, Diaz's main job is to play wing, of course. I want him to link up play. I'm interested to test out his shooting ability, especially where he's got no scoring. That's an absolute awful pass. I'm going to concede. Don't talk and play at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. But we are going to be playing, like I said, Diaz on his right-hand side with him on the link up. Now, I'm expecting the technical to be very good. In terms of skill moves, he's got quite a lot of choice. You know, very quick on the skill. Gets away from the tackle. They're very good dribbling from him. Use that pace. Good dribbling again. You can see that's where we're going to be playing him. He's going to be link-up play to Son up front. Now, of course, being 1-0 down is not ideal. But I'm, I'm confident we can come back in this game and just see how we get on with Diaz today. All right, can't attack. Let's go. Docker at the top. Find Son. Oh, nearly had uh, Diaz at the bottom. We find him. Great through ball into Diaz's feet. Lovely control there. Holds up the ball. Little one-two. Back to Diaz. Bit of skill. Opens up. Finesse. And, oh. Nearly got ourselves a goal there. Really quick on the skill, I'm noticing. But again, not having finesse shot, as you can see there, is a little bit difficult in terms of missing those opportunities. And that probably happened a lot because he doesn't have that shooting play style. But we have a look at his set pieces. 93, 62, 82, 71. So he's not very good at all, unfortunately. So we are going to play it short. Into Diaz. We're going to use that technical plus straight away. We do get a penalty there, surely. Just keep the ball. Diaz, I mean, we'll take the jam. Great finish there. I thought we could have had a penalty, but we are back in the game now. We're using that technical plus to get the shot off, as you can see. But so far, I'm very, very impressed with his dribbling. Shooting, we need to sort of see. A bit inconsistent at this minute in time, but too early to judge. Let's go. Counter attack. Straight into Diaz's feet. Little one-two with Son. Oh, nearly had him through. Good run from him, though. Seems like his off-the-ball movement looks very, very good with that inside forward plus. Good pass in. Diaz, lovely little layoff. Back to him. Holds off the pass, finds Son with a through ball, and we should have scored. Why is he not finesse out with his right foot? What a ball then from Diaz. Very unlucky not to capitalise. Should have had an assist there. Counter attack, straight out to Diaz. Lovely touch. Bit of skill there, open up space, nowhere to go. Use that pace. This is what he's really good at, I'm noticing. Holding off to the attacker there, or defender, and then open up space. Bit of skill. Oh, I didn't get away with there. But that's something he's really, really good at. If you're looking for someone to get the space open, he definitely strives in that situation. Lovely ball out to Diaz. Little dink over. Little one-two. Oh, I nearly found him there. Jude letting us down, unfortunately. Bit of skill cancel. Love that. Open up space again. Gets away from Mendy. Into a yellow time shot there, unfortunately. Diaz on the ball, though. Green time finish. And what a save from the goalkeeper. Right, Diaz is back in defence for some reason. Not entirely sure why. Trying to get away from Zola. Lovely skill. Now we can drive with him. Rainbow flick. Nah, no, not quite. Had to try it. Diaz running in between the lines. That's a great ball. Can he hold it off? Of course he can. Sees Doku. This is something I'm really impressed with this card about. That gets a bad pass from me. But his ability to be able to find the space and the link up. He's dribbling. The ball sticks to him like Velcro. Here's Diaz now. Gets away from Saliba. Look at that for dribbling. Keepers come out. Green time finesse. And this is what I'm saying. Without having any scoring play styles, he will miss those chances. I'm, that's going to become a little bit annoying. 
But in terms of dribbling, this is one of the best cards I've used. He feels like prime Messi when he dribbles with the ball. You can see they're holding off tackles from the likes of Saliba, getting in good positions, but having no scoring play styles is really, really affecting him in terms of shooting around the goalkeeper. And I green timed the shot as well. Yeah, and Diaz out wide. That's a terrible pass from Yoyo. Sorry, but we do pick it up. Diaz making that run. Can we find him? Of course we can. Got Son there. Ah, oh, terrible for me. Do we get a corner at least? We don't. As he scores with his second shot, after all the chances Diaz misses, Adama Traore scores that. Very, very unlucky there. So we're getting some speed up lag here as well. I can't believe that's gone in. Out of all chances, Van Dijk sitting next to him. He just has to shoot and the keeper does nothing there. Very unlucky. We will get into the second half now, as you can see here, first half over. A couple of things I'm noticing immediately. Diaz's finishing isn't the most consistent, especially if you're finessing. I haven't tried Travellers, but that's down to the having no scoring play styles is becoming a big factor here. Dribbling and passing is absolutely outstanding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop him over to the left-hand side and have him in swinging, just like that. And then we're going to bring on Adama Traore for some pace. And we are also going to bring on Sissoko as well, just to sort of mix up our midfield a little bit. Been very, very unlucky. If we have a look at match facts here, you can see two shots from our opponent, two goals. Whereas in terms of performances, Diaz here, he's on 8.7 because he scored. But possession, he's had 15 dribbles out of 18 complete. That's how good he's been. But shooting-wise, three on target with one goal only. And the goal was a little bit lucky, I will be honest. But let's see how we get on in the second half here. So Diaz is now playing on this left-hand side with his right foot in swing. See, that gets away from Carl Walker. This is something he's amazing at doing. Those little dribbles there. Find Diaz. Bit of skill. Shoots. And again, doesn't score that opportunity. Very, very unlucky. Little one-two between Mendy and Diaz. Great dribble again. Pass one. Nowhere to go there, unfortunately. But again, opening up space. He's always asking those questions in that middle of the, the box there when he drives in. Bad pass from our opponent. Can we capitalize on it? Diaz on the ball. He's got Son running through. Does find him. Son finishes. And that is the difference between having finesse shot and not having it. But a lovely link-up play from Diaz there. One goal, one assist in this game. Playing really well. Just as, like I say, I can't go on about enough. He's shooting inconsistent. Now, can we go on to win this game? Lovely intercession. Get back to Diaz here. Lovely touch again. Can you find Mendy? He can. Make like the pass. Lovely ball out wide. Diaz going to go for a long range shot. Good save from the keeper. And nearly fell straight into Son's feet there. We've got quite a few choices here. We've got Dharma at the top. Can we find him? Of course we can. Great ball. Reset the attack. Not long left in this game. Diaz, I see you. Good pass in. Lovely turn. Doesn't quite get away with it though. Very unlucky again. Not long left in the game. Five minutes. Can we get another chance here? Or are we going to extra time? Diaz. Lovely ball. He's in behind. Shot. Green time again. Straight at the keeper. This guy just doesn't know how to finish his dinner. He gets there. He gets the plate out. Gets the dinner. <laughs> he just can't fit it in his mouth. Again, great run for Diaz. I see him. He's a dummy. Into Son. Great finesse. But unfortunately, he's offside by the looks of it. Or we're getting a free kick. Was offside. Diaz had so many good opportunities and he's just missed every single one like that. Oh, we like we're going to extra time unless our opponent scores from this attack. And he has. I can't believe this. That is all down to Diaz missing so, so many opportunities for me. I really like the card, but in terms of finishing. I can't lie. I think this is very disappointing. He's just cost me the foot champs game. But Son can score that, no problem. But my God, Diaz just can't score in front of the box. Is that is the end of the game? We lost the game in weekend league, which has now cost us the icon pack as well. Thanks to Diaz. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying Diaz isn't very good, but I have to be honest. I am extremely disappointed with him. We have a look in terms of dribbling, absolutely fantastic. One of the best cards for it. But in terms of shooting, six shots on target, one goal. That is absolutely shocking for an 87 rated card with 93 shooting. Now, we jump over to Footbin again. So we're back on Footbin. You can see here's about 900,000 coins. Let me just refresh in case the price of this is. Hey, actually, he's dropping already. I think people are starting to realize that these shooting stats are absolutely fantastic. But having zero scoring play styles is a massive, massive L. 
EA have ruined this car because of that. In terms of dribbling and getting into space, one of the best cards I've used. They're unbelievably good at the ball sticks to him. But in finishing, normal shooting, finesse shot, even Travellers, he's just so inconsistent with it. Unless you're shooting straight at your opponent and the goalkeeper movement moves him, I would honestly stay away from this card. For the price that he is, his team of the week's 268k, his gold card's 6,000 coins. Like, in terms of what he offers, he gets plus three, plus five on shooting. There is not much of a huge boost on this card in terms of that. Yes, you could argue he gets technical plus, which he doesn't have on his gold card, and probably better rolls. But for this price, you can get a whole team better than him. As always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.